This is Kristen Pedia with Sunshine Reviews free tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use and create dynamic page listings. Dynamic page listings, or DPL, are automatically updated lists of articles according to either categories or templates within an article. It's sort of like creating an RSS feed in a blog. Now, how do they work? DPL works by first using this HTML command. You're going to see it just says DPL in a couple of carats and has a forward slash. And what they draw from are categories. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this into a sample article. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to paste it in. Got a little carried away there. So we're going to paste this in and click on Show Preview. And you're going to see it generates automatically a list of the counties in Alabama. Now, you can add multiple categories to this. So, for example, we can add category to equal rated Alabama counties. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do starter class. Now, there should be no counties in this category. So, what you're going to see is that it says no results. And that's correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change this to school districts. And we're going to go ahead and click on show preview. And what you're going to see is that there are two school districts that are at this level of development. Now we're going to go ahead and delete this. And let's take a look at some of the other ways that you can format a dynamic page listing. The first one is count. So let's go ahead and we're going to add count. And we're going to have that equal first five districts. And we're going to go ahead and do show preview. You're going to see it lists the first five. You're going to see it says also Alabama school districts within it. So it's very important to have those multiple categories because otherwise you're going to create the broad overview articles are going to be enfolded in it. There's also not category. So for example, if I didn't want the starter class articles in it, I would just put a not before the category. You have order method, eliminate. Eliminate's great if you want to eliminate any namespaces with template in them. You can add it by the user date format, the added it date, and a number of other ways. You can even make the formatting very specific. For example, here's some sample code on how to add the first paragraph and how to make a bigger headline. This is primarily used in news feeds. Another way you can create it is uh, you can have the dynamic page listing feed into a table. And to do that, you would just copy this. So let's go ahead and do that. Going to take out count and paste this in. And then for the header, we're just going to put name, we'll put budget. Now, when you're using a table, part of it is you've got to get elements that feed from other templates, not just categories. So we're going to go ahead and use our transparency checklist. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to paste that in. And we're going to paste in the name of the checklist. So this is going to be school district transparency checklist. And we're going to go ahead and do the couple of names. So we're going to do academic performance. And we're actually going to just stop there because we want this to be a simple table. So instead of budget, we'll put in academics. And we're going to go ahead and do show preview. And you're going to see that it listed in. But it didn't list it exactly because we haven't filled it out yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other example DPLs. One thing that I want you to notice is here's a list of transparency advocates that I filtered into a table. And you're going to notice that name is not listed up here, but it is down here. So it's important that you have all the headers listed, if not all the elements. You can also see a basic list that we've already worked with. And then here is the end result for formatting it in a news feed. There are lots of ways that you can manipulate DPLs, and they're one of the most malleable extensions in a wiki. 
So if you'd like to know more about it, please join us for one of our Wednesday webinars. They happen every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Time. And if you found this tutorial useful, then please consider a contribution to Sunshine Review. Thank you.